This is our fertility meadow. We've had it now for about 10 years. The inspiration came from that brilliant meadow at Morden College in Oxford. Most stunning thing to see. We started eight years ago planting 2,000 bulbs a year. The poor old gardeners have to go through and plant them all uh, in September. But it's really now starting to pay dividends. And you can see beautiful purple heads. Uh, a few white ones always come up in there. Uh, it's one of our native plants. We don't have great native plants that you can bring into the country, not in the UK, unfortunately, but this is one of them. It has the most fantastic hetching, like snake skin. We basically plant in the autumn, September, October times, if we've got time, sometimes a bit later. They say to get a natural lip with bulbs is to scatter the bulbs. If you're scattering in grass, like we have here, if you're picking something as small as fertilities, please do not do it that way. That is the first attempt. We scattered them in the grass and then we couldn't find them. So there's a lesson to learn. We, we've tried to develop different ways to find the, the ideal way, way for us. And for us, uh, we take a bulb planter, so those planters that you plant the tulips in, cut out a hole and we put three bulbs to each hole that we make. And so from a bag of 250, you get approximately 80 holes uh, to put in. And we just go around putting three in, because we do find that if we can bring them closer together, it gives a better show earlier on. You can grow them in partial shade, as you've seen down by the river we have some, and they've been growing in shade for 30 plus years. So um, if you find that slightly cooler, moister part of the garden, uh, like any bulb, just be a bit careful not allowing too much weed to get, gather around them. Otherwise, poor ground. Don't try and feed them. A bit of poverty actually does them good.